Good morning. My name's Nick, my co-star, out of the garden cats behind me. And uh, it is just starting to rain right when I get outside, of course. So I'm kind of rushing. You see, I'm throwing my socks on because I saw it's about to rain. You can see how much of this I can get done before the rain forced me inside or to take a break. Did not expect this rain to come. I hadn't looked at the weather report. I would say let's get going, but we're already going. Just gonna head on into my little shelter here and we'll keep talking for a minute. All right. This little rain. It looks like it might be coming down for a while. Maybe I'll get to show you the uh, water flows. Wow, breezy. Where did you come from? Well, I'm not kind of uh, changing my plan a little bit. My plan was to basically do the normal morning chore things, check on the chickens and all that, and make sure everything's all right, check on the greenhouse and, and uh, water that. And uh, then I was, my plan was to go and try to hunt down some horse manure from the pasture right across the way. I mentioned it, I think, yesterday in the vlog. Um, as being a potential because I need to get I need to get uh, some extra nitrogen for my compost pile so I'm, and I, there's a horse that is now using the pasture right across the uh, fence from us so I'm gonna hop over and see if I couldn't find any uh, any horse manure for up for grabs which I'm sure there's plenty if he's been over there for a few days so but now it's just kind of pouring so I still do that. I might just give it a few minutes. So I'm actually going to turn you guys off for a minute and see where the rain goes. And then uh, from there, we'll, uh, we'll see where we get. See the sun's starting to try to poke out now. It's been about three or four minutes, maybe five. Just check the radar and it looks like we're just going to have this, it's like a big, huge cluster of wetness. And then after that, it should be dry. So, so that's tropical weather for you. Over here, it looks really gloomy. You can see you can see the ridge line over there through the through the clouds and kind of fog and everything. So that's the ridge line over there. Still kind of gray, but over here, we're starting to get the sun again, trying to poke through. Probably last another few minutes, and then we'll uh, get going. Let's see, Otto's in here with me. He, uh, he's a little bit wet. I had to wipe him down with my shirt because I didn't want him to get too wet and too cold. Poor guy. Yeah, his whole coat was soaking. He came out with me, but I thought that he had, uh, he was hiding, but apparently not. He's very wet. <laughs> and now he's playing with a leaf that he found. What you doing out here, bud? What you doing? What you doing? What? Let's see all these cans I need to come pick up. Just power washed uh, the front walkway and our driveway yesterday. Or driveway, really just this little incline. So that used to be basically dark, dark black, essentially. And now it's this really light gray color. And goes Otto to inspect my work. Thank you, Otto. Let me know how I did. Appreciate that. You can see our. Uh, front garden over there. I also cleaned that up the other day. I was trimming. I actually used the trimmer, which I rarely do, but uh, I borrowed one so I could clean up over there really well. You can actually see the wall and everything past the papayas and everything, so that's nice. Just playing with this little zip tie. Keep that little zip tie. I don't have a lock, so I just keep a zip tie here in case I want to uh, close this and then semi-lock it just to have a little extra extra security it's not really going to do much um in the case that someone actually has a knife or anything like that but just like one more deterrent i'm not really worried about kind of any theft or anything around where we live it's a pretty safe neighborhood um but you know always i was just thinking about those things just in case i feel like it is calmed down enough that we can go out again
All right, a little bit of rain still, but we'll be fine. No biggie. And uh, yeah, let's check in on the chickens here. Hey guys, how you doing with all the rain? No, it's just a little rain, you guys will be fine. Just give that a little shake. I'd say there's enough in there still, I'm not even gonna refill it. Especially if it's gonna rain at all today, or rain more today, because uh, they're just gonna end up kind of, just get all soggy and everything, and they'll still eat it, but I'd rather not waste anything. Hey mama. Broody mama. She's doing such a great job. Very proud of you, mama. Very proud. I'm not gonna bother her too much because she doesn't like to be bothered right now. She actually, she ends up coming out. She came out yesterday for a while and she actually ends up, she ends up sitting on this little tree out, I don't even know how she sits there. It's pretty steep of an angle, but she sits there so she can stay away from the rooster who is uh, really wanting to show her that she is her, she is his and uh, not to mess with him. Just sitting underneath the uh, tarp for a minute with the chicks while it's rain, rain kind of lets up. It's just, uh, just about to let up, so no biggie. Hey, Mama, come here. Right here, right here. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, how you doing? I haven't hung out with you recently. Clean it up a little bit. You're wet. Rooster's wet. Everyone's wet this morning. We're all in the same boat. I don't know if you guys can see the cat over there. The cat's over here. The rooster and him might get in a little bit of a tiff. You haven't really spent too much time in here with them this past week because uh, I've just been really busy. I've been really busy and I haven't really had time to spend as much time as I like to back here. So it's nice to spend a little bit of time while it's raining with them. This one is getting really cuddly. I really like it when they do that. There you go. Do a little dance? Yeah, there you go. Very pretty rooster. You're a good rooster. Careful. You're in the guard. Ah, nope. Good boy. He learns. He knows, he sees me go in there, so he walks in, but then doesn't realize that the path ends right where the tiles end. Oh. Sounds like mom's coming in with some, mom's coming in with some food scraps for him. Well, I just got out here right as it was starting. Here's the rooster. Good morning, Gonna show off. Good morning, boys. Rooster. See you, rooster. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. She's a, a good one off the yoga. Have fun at yoga. Nothing, nothing for you, sweetie. Nothing for you. off to yoga and the chickens get their food scraps. They love watermelon, so they're gonna enjoy this one. And this is another reason why I didn't uh, didn't add any more feed because they have plenty of food. With all the food scraps, we'll probably end up bringing out a bunch today. Mom just brought some. So food scraps, guys, using food scraps to supplement your feed can really save you a lot of money on your feed bill, and also actually probably makes them a little happier and healthier because they like real food just as much as we do, you know. That's, uh, they'd rather eat that than, you know, boxed up kind of crap that's processed. Just like us. That's not, not everyone, I guess. Some people do like to box up and process stuff a lot, so I shouldn't speak for everyone. But for me, I prefer the, the real stuff. And uh, I'm sure many of you do too. <laughs> so yeah, that's what they're going to get. This cat is very mopey today, it looks like. Maybe it's just because he's wet. But he looks very mopey. Oh, kitty. You okay? You okay? This cat's no straight. This is a stray cat we picked up. This is a stray cat we picked up, Otto. So 
he's used to being wet and soaked and everything because he lived on the streets for a while. So he's uh, he's quite used to it. So I'm not really ever too worried about him when he uh, when he gets wet. He knows what to do. He'll clean them off. And honestly, it's probably good for him to have a little bath every once in a while like that. But now look at him. Now he gets to just lay on the, the hot tin roof. Cat in a hot tin roof. It's not actually hot and it's not tin, but you know how it goes. And he gets to play with sugarcane leaves till he uh, gets tired and wants to go do something else, like groom himself, apparently. That was a quick transition. Just like that, guys, sun's starting to come back out so we can keep moving with our day which is quite exciting because I want to see if we can go get some of that manure. I would really like to uh, start the start a compost pile soon. It's time, I have enough material. I'm going to want compost and, you know, the amount of time it takes to process the compost, you know, four to six weeks, depending on how I'm going to treat it here. Um, Cause I'm doing it with the chickens. If I was doing a super fast compost, the Berkeley style method, you can do that in 18 days. I'll leave a, a video link up here on how to do that. I think Jeff Lawton has a really good video on how to do that. And if it's not Jeff Lawton, then I'll leave someone else. But Jeff Lawton's a big guy who teaches that. Um, he's a big guy in the permaculture world. If you haven't heard of him, look him up. Uh, I'll either leave his link to that video I was talking about or his channel up there. So you can find him and check him out. He's one of my uh, major inspirations, kind of my guru, you can say. I took his online permaculture course. Uh, if you're interested in that, I'll leave a link below in the description. It's actually a, uh, a review of his online course. If you guys are interested in taking a course um, with the same guy I did. Uh, he's based in Australia, but the online course is basically built to be taken from anywhere in the world as long as you have a decent internet connection. In, in the show notes below, if you click the read more below here, uh, I'll leave a link to a review that I did so you can just read a little bit about it. Um, I, I likely will be, end up being an affiliate with them. Um, I'm going to try to, uh, if they, if they offer that again, but even if not, I recommend it hundred percent. It's just, and my reviews up there without an affiliate link or anything. It's just something I really believe in and think is one of the best permaculture courses out there. Definitely the best online permaculture course, in my opinion. All right. I'm going to leave you with auto real quick. I want to go grab a couple supplies that we need for this next step. And you can watch auto groom himself. Okay, I'm coming back. All right, I got two buckets, a shovel, and a machete. That should hopefully be enough for what we need to do. And I uh, actually don't really know how I'm gonna get over there yet. I know that our properties, you can see right over there, the horse is right over there near that abandoned house there. I think he's actually over there right now. So I'm gonna go slow so we don't spook him. Or go loudly enough so we don't spook him. And I think I can get in just down here. So I'm going to, you'll probably kind of see a couple different shots of me moving as I try to get over there, scramble through all this craziness. usual the cat's quite interested in what I'm doing as always it's fun yeah all right so I just hacked a little bit of a, a trail over there and I uh, said hello to the horse so as not to startle him next time I come over with you guys so there is some manure over there I'm not sure how much and uh, I don't actually have permission to go there but the neighbors here all the neighbors are pretty pretty open and they don't really care at all about, you know, uh, taking a, a little bit of horse manure from the horse paddock that they're in. So it's going to be a little bit of a rough path. So bear with me here. Let's see, we're going to go through this tiny little trail through the bananas here. It's a little steep here for me, not for you guys. For me, it's steep. 
There he is. This gorgeous boy. Hey, bud. I don't have any food for you. I wish I did. Probably like me a little bit better. So let him do his thing. I don't want to interrupt him to the point where he's actually upset. But yeah, he's a he's a big boy. Very big boy. And uh, he's gonna be part of the reason why my compost gets so hot, hopefully. So just trying to use those resources that are available to you close by without having to go too far. This is certainly one of those for me, bud. So I'm just trying to, I'm gonna try to set up everything away from him. Just so, you know, he has his own little space. He doesn't feel threatened by me or anything. It does sound like there's people next door. I don't think in this house here, this is a pretty abandoned old house. I actually really want this house in a way because uh, it has this beautiful pasture right up here that uh, could easily be converted into forest and production. It's a beautiful little spot. I wouldn't mind it, but I don't think we're, this isn't quite where we want to be. We want to be a little bit more land and a little bit further away from people, I think. I'll be back, Otto. Don't worry. You stay there. Let's see if we can't find any of that gold. Oh, yeah. Right there. Oh, yeah. Right there. That's what I'm looking for. Nice, fresh, fresh manure. I have to say, never in my life, never in my earlier life did I expect to be the guy uh, excited to find uh, horse manure and gathering it in my own free time. I'll tell you, that's definitely a shift for me. But this stuff right here is perfect for compost. It's hot enough, nice diversity of material, lots of grass in there. One thing you have to keep in mind with horse manure is you don't want them to have been recently dewormed. Because that's not so great for your compost pile, because you want the worms. Yeah. Beautiful manure. Hey bud. It's all right. You can check it out. You can check it out. Hey, bud, you're so pretty. Yeah. All right, guys. It's sweaty. So it, when it rains in the morning, it's really nice because it cools off everything right in the start of the day. But then the sun beats down and all that all the rain starts evaporating and becomes like 100 percent plus humidity and uh you just sweat no matter what you do you just you just sweat can't stop it so very sweaty right now ended up harvesting about half a bucket of horse manure i'd like at least another uh full bucket you know a bucket and a half two buckets is kind of what i'd be going for so but now that i know this is here and it's easy for me to access i can come back and uh, hopefully he'll have produced a little bit more for me. So uh, we're gonna head back over to our place now and uh, we'll finish up there. All right, back to our property. Otto was crying for me when I was over there. He doesn't like it when I leave him, when I'm working, so he likes to work with me. It's kind of... I don't know if it's an abandonment thing or if he just wants to be around because he was meowing pretty, pretty loudly. He does that whenever he wants to be near us. Otto, Otto, oh, there you are. You okay? Look at him, he's down here waiting for me. Right where we left. Hey bud, how you doing? Come on up, good boy. 
Thank you for watching out for me. I appreciate that. Hey Otto, thanks for watching out for me. It's a very sweet cat. Very sweet cat. You, you sweet cat. All right guys, that's it for me today. Before I get too sweaty and gross, I'm hoping to get up on my roof and do a little bit of scraping because I just power washed it the other day and still needs a little bit of prep before we can actually seal it. What, you're being so vocal. What do you need, bud? What do you need? You want to go inside, have some food or something? What's the deal? Oh. Anyway, so that's, uh, that's us for today. This is Otto, my garden cat co-star, and me, Nick, signing off. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe. It really helps me get a little bit more reach and have that motivation to kind of keep going. I'm, I'm at about 80 subscribers right now, and I'm hoping to get to 100. And uh, obviously, if you're watching this way in the future, hopefully I'll be way past that. But if you're watching this around now, uh, spread the word. Send out the send out a couple of my videos. Find one that you really like and share it with some of the communities that you have that might be might find it appropriate or or useful to them. Because uh, that's really going to help me get the word out there and maybe get to the 100 subscribers. Or if I'm already at 100, if you're watching this later, to even more subscribers. Uh, that's the goal, right? So until next time, have a good one.